वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एन एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन नाइक्विस्ट क्राइटेरिया यूजिंग नाइक्विस्ट क्राइटेरिया फाइंड आउट वेदर द सिस्टम की वन बिलो इज स्टेबल और नॉट सो बेसिकली नाइक्विस्ट क्राइटेरिया इज यूज फॉर चेकिंग डेट द सिस्टम इज स्टेबल और नॉट सो वी हैव टू फॉलो ऑल द फाइव स्टेप्स डेट वी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स टू फाइंड आउट आवर सिस्टम इज स्टेबल और नॉट सो लेट्स डू इट so moving on to the step number 1 that is determination of transfer function since the transfer function is given as g of s into h of s is equals to s over s plus 1 so g of s into h of s is equals to s over s plus 1 this is our transfer function moving on to next step that is putting s equals to g omega so put s equals to g omega here on putting s equals to g omega we get g of g omega into h of g omega equals to g omega divided by j omega plus 1 so this is the step 2 after this we have to find out the magnitude and the phase angle so the magnitude that is represented by mod of g of j omega will be mod of g of j omega will be equals to under the root omega square plus there is no real part so we can take zero here divided by under the root omega square plus 1 square that is 1 only so mod of g of j omega will finally become omega over under the root omega square plus 1 so this is the expression for the magnitude moving on to the next step that is calculation of phase angle so the phase angle can be represented by angle of g of j omega so the angle of g of j omega is equals to tan inverse of here y value is omega and there is no real part that's why we write zero here minus writing the denominator term that is tan inverse of omega divided by 1 so g of j omega will now become since tan inverse of infinite is nothing but equals to 90 degree minus tan inverse of omega then moving on to the next step that is calculation of table so we need to form a table now for the various values of omega the magnitude and the phase angle changes so this is mod of g of j omega this is phase angle we have to calculate the magnitude and phase angle for various values of omega that is for 0.0 we will calculate after that for 0.2 then for 0.5 then after for 5 we will calculate then after for 10 and finally we will calculate for omega equals to infinite i had calcul calculated all the values 
of magnitude and phase angle for the various values of omega earlier so i just write it down quickly So these all are the values which I get by putting firstly that omega equals to 0, 0.0 in this place then we get the magnitude that is equals to 0 only. After this for the various values of uh, omega we will calculate the magnitude and that will be like is this. After this for the various values of omega we will also calculate the phase angle from this formula. Now let's plot a polar plot. So this is our polar plot. This is 0 degree or 360 degree. This is 90 degree or minus 270 degree. This is plus 180 degree or minus 180 degree. This is nothing but 270 degree or minus 90 degree we can say after this <coughs> let's decide the quadrant in which our polar plot will lie since at omega equals to 0 the angle is 90 degree that is here and at omega equals to infinite angle becomes 0 degree so we can say that our polar plot will lie in the first quadrant only from the magnitude table we can say that at omega equals to 0 its magnitude is equals to 0 only so 0 will lie here at the origin so at omega equals to 0 it will start from 0 and at omega equals to infinite finally it will terminate at the magnitude equals to 1 so its magnitude is 1 here and it is omega equals to infinite now let us plot all these angles so 90 degree angle is here after that 78.69 so 78.69 will be somewhere here after that 63.43 so 63.43 will be here after that 11.30 so this angle will be here after this 5.70 so it will be here and finally 0 degree so it is here now let us plot all the magnitude onto this angles at 90 degree the magnitude is 0 so here is the 90 degree axis and the magnitude is 0 after this the at 78.69 degree the magnitude is 0 0.196 so here is 0 0.1 here is 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 since we need to plot 0 0.196 so it will be somewhere around 0 0.2 so it will be like here after this 0 0.4 we need to plot so the 0 0.4 is here so in parallel to it it will be here after this 0 0.9 we need to plot on 11.30 so 0 0.9 is here so it will be here only and finally we need to plot 0 0.9 so it will be here 
and at omega equals to infinite the magnitude is 1 so 1 is there now let us join the curve so the curve will become like this let us smoothen this curve so this is our curve which originates from omega equals to 0 move in the clockwise direction following this path and terminate at omega equals to infinite this is the complete polar plot now let us draw our Nyquist plot since the Nyquist plot is nothing but a mirror image of a polar plot that's why its mirror image will be like this this is the Nyquist plot and following the clockwise direction the Nyquist plot will be like here this is the cl clockwise direction and finally the Nyquist plot will terminate at this origin at omega equals to 0 minus since 0 plus and 0 minus are both connected to each other that's why this is a complete Nyquist plot after that we need to check that our system is stable or not so here is somewhere minus 1 so this is a point of minus 1 plus 0 j and we need to check that whether it is this point is encircled or not since this circle this point lies outside of this Nyquist plot so we can say that the value of n is equals to 0 because n basically represent the number of encirclement of this point and since it is not encircled that's why the value of n is 0 now let us find out the number of positive poles that lies in the right hand side of s plane on equating the denominator part to 0 we get our first pole at minus 1 only since minus 1 is a negative number that's why we can say that there are no positive poles so the p value is also equals to 0 here since we have a formula that is n equals to p minus z on substituting the values we get 0 equals to 0 minus z from this formula z value is also become 0 only and p value is also 0 so if the value of p and as well as the z both become 0 then we can say that the system is stable so this is an stable system thank you